Hello and welcome back to Toronto FC Fan TV. And today we will be talking about some news, rumors, circling around Toronto FC. And without any further ado, let's get right into it. Now starting off here, we got Ayo Akinola. He's been rumored with a move away into Europe. He's been a breakout star for Toronto FC, with contributing to several goals in double digits, scoring I believe about 10 goals, and getting at least 3 assists in the previous season. He's been a real breakout star, and has skyrocketed his value to about 6 to 12 million dollars. He is the third most valuable player at Toronto FC, only behind midfielder Jonathan Azorio with a value of 7 million to about 14 million dollars, and Angelina Pasuelo with a value of 14.5 million to 20 million dollars. The main teams interested in Ayo Akinola are English teams Brentford, Cardiff City, QPR, and Coventry City. Akinola would be very be wise to move to Europe as every young person always wants to make that big move in Europe. I would love to see him stay at the club and we have a bit of a problem on our hands with him becoming a free agent in the next season. There's always that problem that do we want to sell him now and get the money in case we can't get the contract or do we want to hold on to him and push for that contract? There's always the risk of us trying to keep him but he refuses the contract and leaves as a free agent in the summertime without being able to cash in that would probably be our largest sum of money ever coming in for selling a player. I would personally like to see us push for a new contract for him and keep him at the club as he's been a real breakout star and has proved himself in the previous season. I'd like to hear your opinions on him. Would you like to keep him? Would you like to sell him? What would you do if you were the general manager? Next piece of news here is Josie Altador has been rumored, our legendary striker has been rumored to leave the club. He's picked up an injury before a game with the United States men's team just as the rumors started to circle. Most times that typically means that a rumor can be actually legit if somebody gets injured before a game. Now he vaguely refuted the reports with a tweet saying, don't believe everything you read, the devil's working overtime. With a value of $2.4 million and his numbers dropping partially due to injuries, it might be time to move on, although his experience would be greatly missed in the locker room. His contract will be running out in the next couple seasons. His numbers have been dropping, and I feel he just doesn't fill in that role of a designated player that he used to be. In my opinion, I think it might be time to move on and cash in. Let me hear your ideas in the comments section below. With the Altador rumors and possibly him leaving the club, we have been quickly linked to Colombian striker Santos Barro. The former Copa Libendores winner has a value of about $12 million, can also circle up to about $25 million. In the current season, he has bagged 7 goals and 1 assist in 11 matches for his team in Argentina. He would cost a lot, but surely would be worth every penny, as he has proved himself as a top striker even in clubs like Atletico Madrid and La Liga. I believe he'd be a very adequate and possibly even better replacement for Josie Altidore. He's 25 and has a bright future ahead of him and would be a solid, solid option for Toronto FC to sign. Now let me make sure I hit, hear your opinions and comments in the comment section below. I'd love to hear all your feedback, positive or negative, and make sure you say what you'd like to say about what I've been talking about. Anyways, this has been Toronto FC Fan TV, and see ya.